Hey guys, welcome back to Tools on a Budget. Um, today I'm bringing you this uh, sm uh, little short video. Um, I've been hearing a lot about Timu, um, so I decided to, decided to hop on the bandwagon and uh, buy a few tools from them. Um, so these are just like just a, like a couple basic little tools I got. Uh, I think this was like 17 or $16. And then uh, this wrench that was like $21. Um, so let's see if uh, these tools are actually worth the money. Um, so this is a 13 piece uh, torque set. Um, these are cool because uh, you can just put them on your wrench. I mean on your um, on your ratchet, and you know makes makes things a lot easier. So y these are three eighths inch um, socket set. Uh, they go up to it's a T70. So you do get a T70, um, a T60. And then uh, if this is a this is a T55, this is a, this one gets quite a lot of use from me um, when doing uh, tying belts on neon PT cruisers and uh, similar cars. Um, so that this is a little nice little set. Honestly, I don't. It doesn't feel too cheap. It feels like every other set I've used. Um, I mean, I'm sure they'll work. They're not gonna last forever, but I'm sure they they'll get the job done. And then I, I also bought this wrench set. Oops. So this one I already used once or twice, I believe. So you, it's a nice little uh, ratcheting wrench set. It's a 12 piece. Um, it's an 8 through 19. Uh, I do like that it does not have any skips. That's always something I like to look for when I'm buying a wrench set. And as you can see, you get the 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, wait. You get the 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Sorry, I got a little confused with the... I was using the phone as my as a guide. So you do get uh, no skips, 8 through 19. Um, they are ratcheting wrench style. Um, how long the ratcheting mechanism will last, I can't tell you. But I have used this one. As you can tell, it's already scratched. I did use the 19 and the 16, I believe. Yeah, I used the 16 as well, as you can see. Um, held up pretty good. I did quite, put quite a bit of force on here. Um, trying to intentionally use them as a breaker bar just to see how they hold up because I, I mean I didn't treat these any differently from what I would treat like my gear wrench or my uh, you know my uh, my huskies which husky is actually uh, they're made by apex which actually makes a gear wrench so it's basically the same thing um, but yeah this this is a nice little tool set for what I paid I think it was like anywhere from 21 to 24 dollars so for that price, um, it's really a no-brainer. Even if uh, these do end up breaking, you still have the open-end wrench. But just because you get the 8 through uh, 19, no skips. That's I do like no skips. Uh, for a similar set from a, a name brand, uh, no skips, you're probably paying anywhere from $60 to $80. Um, especially if you're just a DIYer at home. Um, what if you don't have another wrench set, you could always just use your socket to break it loose and then use this to ratchet it off or, um, or use a non ratcheting one to, uh, break it off and then use this to just make it easier. Um, if these are going to be your only ones, then I do recommend going to like Husky or gear wrench, even though most of their sets do skip. Um, so you might get like the 10, 12. 13 14 15 and then it'll probably skip to like 17 19 so you won't get, you probably most likely won't get an 18 a 16 and for sure you won't get an 11 on most sets um you might not get a nine which honestly is not too bad because i've i don't think i've only used a nine like once in my life the 11 i have used quite a bit um i think the fords use 11s so you, if you just have like a toyota or honda then you'll probably get by easily with the 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
especially the 17. Uh, I think the drain bolts on most Hondas are 17. And uh, 19 is good to have too. But you will end up needing to pick up an 18 for some suspension parts on both of those cars. But yeah, guys. Um, so like I said, I picked these up on Timu. I was just trying to see uh, what kind of tools they offered and if they were any good. Um, they honestly seemed like just like any tools you could buy off Amazon or eBay that are uh, budget priced. Um, so it's nothing like they're not like extremely cheap, but they're not good either. It's just, you know, something to get by. Um, if you don't have if you don't have money for uh, other brands with tools and stuff. But uh, honestly, uh, these are fine for a DIYer. If you're going to use these every day, I probably wouldn't recommend them. These are probably fine if you do use them every day. Because, I mean, I have snap-on ones that are broken too. So, I feel like these are all pretty similar. That's why snap-on does give you the lifetime warranty. Because they know they're going to break. Um, so, they pretty much factor in the cost of it. They're probably buying, like, um, probably doesn't cost them too much to make them. And then they're pretty much, like, um, guesstimating you're going to replace it once or twice in your in the lifetime of certain ones and then like the more common ones probably like a three to four times because i do have some broken snap-on ones and craftsman ones i mean these all break uh these these aren't really like these aren't really meant to last forever um although i although the harbor the harbor fright pittsburgh pro ones um they use like the um, it's like the black tempered uh metal those i've noticed they last quite a bit um so they are probably a little bit of harder steel which means that they won't twist but they probably just snap off when they do give give way um because i noticed on the snap on ones on the smaller ones they tend to twist and then on the little bit larger ones they do snap off um uh, i wish i could i wish i if i still had my other one i have a few somewhere around here laying around um if i find them i'll put a picture of them right now if I don't, then uh, maybe for another video, I'll, I'll show you guys um, that they actually, uh, how they shear and how they twist. And the Craftsmen are the same way. Um, like I said, the, none of these are immune to breaking or, especially if you use them a lot. If you use them, uh, if you use these like, you know, once or twice a year, these these are probably a lifetime set because I don't think you're going to break these. Um, just like if you, but if you are going to be a mechanic, um, you or not you are going to need to replace these at one point uh because eventually these will start wearing down uh twisting wearing down um you know just like just like even wrenches if you start using wrenches every day for um daily like my flank i have a flank drive plus the ones with the teeth and uh the teeth don't work on it no more they're almost nearly gone um that and that is a snap-on so it's not like everything lasts forever but, you know, they do last a good amount of time. But I would see this as a good set for somebody, um, especially for 15 bucks, um, for somebody at home that just wants to work on their, uh, you know, their BMW, Volkswagen, because they do have a lot of torques. Even some of the American cars have are starting to go torques now. Um, so, yeah, this is honestly uh, the tools from Timu are probably similar to what you'd find at... Um, ebay amazon even some of the lower end harbor freight tools are similar to this like the pittsburgh pro um like i said these are i wouldn't have these as my only set but they're decent enough for what i paid um also guys uh i did get sent this in from sigmund it's a laser distance meter so i will be doing a review on this uh so stay tuned for that and i also i'm also going to do a review on the hyper tough uh um, four amp hour battery um to see if it gives uh the torque wrench i mean the impact wrench a little bit more juice so um oh and also I, I might pick up the the gen 2 hercules that i guess they released the gen 2 ultra torque so looking forward to that review as well um that's pretty much it for today um hope you guys enjoyed the video remember guys have a great day if you like this content don't forget to hit the thumbs up uh, if you're not a subscriber and you like this, consider subscribing. Um, thank you, guys.